guys what's up how are you guys doing today i hope and i pray that everybody is feeling well has a lot of good energy and you're pushing through in these rough times that we're living in but we're gonna be all right today i'm gonna show you guys a simple baked chicken recipe i'm gonna do chicken thighs and i'm gonna take you through the whole process from preparing the chicken to cook, to seasoning it, to actually cooking it. Really simple, easy recipe, a few steps, but you'll have a delicious meal for yourself, your family, whomever you're cooking for. Okay, so let's get into this chicken recipe. So I purchased my chicken from Whole Foods and it comes in a pack of four. So today I'm cooking one package of four chicken thighs. And I like to examine them to make sure that there's no excess hair on them or any foreign materials before I start to soak them to clean. Then I soak my chicken thighs in a mixture of fresh lime, apple cider vinegar, and some either sea salt or kosher salt and that is how I begin the cleaning process. I let the chicken soak in this mixture for about 10 to 15 minutes. After soaking, I rinse each piece of chicken under cold water to remove the soaking solution. The apple cider vinegar and the lime congeal the fat that's on the chicken and makes it easier to remove. Then I remove all of the fat, visible fat, from each chicken thigh, being careful to remove the extra slimy fat from underneath the skin and everywhere else that I see excess fat. Once that is done, I take a clean paper towel and pat the chicken thighs dry so that there's no excess water remaining. Now that we're done cleaning the chicken, it's time to season with garlic powder, onion powder, poultry season, black pepper, and salt. We're using a tablespoon each of garlic and onion powder and a teaspoon of pepper, salt, and poultry seasoning. And now we season the chicken thighs using the seasoning mixture on the top skin side, on the underside, and underneath the skin. I like to combine my seasonings in this way because it makes it easier to evenly distribute all of the seasonings. I'll be creating a seasoning series to show you guys quick, easy ways to put together seasoning mixtures for any type of food that you're cooking. And now we are placing the chicken thighs in our baking pan and we're going to give it a nice spray with some avocado oil spray to avoid the chicken sticking to the pan. We're going to now take these wonderful chicken thighs and place in our preheated oven, which is at 375 degrees and we're gonna bake this chicken for 40 minutes. Uncheck on the chicken after 40 minutes and you're gonna notice a lot of pan juices. So what I like to do is remove the pan juices, put them in a metal pan, and then place them underneath the broiler to crisp up the skin. Then you remove the chicken from the broiler after about 10 minutes and here you have your delicious, crispy, baked, chicken thighs. I hope you guys love it. I know I did. All right, y'all. I'm tasting the chicken. Here it is. Mmm. You see that? Oh my God. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So delicious. Mmm. So delicious. Oh man. When I tell you that chicken 
everything. Perfectly seasoned, perfect texture, cooked to perfection, in my opinion. So check this out. When you guys try the video, I would love it if you would come back and share comments on how the recipe turned out. Cause there's always room for improvement. And you know, even if you, you might just like um, salt and pepper on your chicken and you can do it that way also. But I find that to be, you know, basic for chicken. So you guys, thanks for being here again today. You know, I enjoy, I love sharing these recipes with you guys and I hope you love being here. So stay blessed be a blessing to others, bless yourself. Speak into yourself, speak life into yourself, okay? And make sure that you fill all of your days with yummy dishes. I'll see you guys in the next video, peace.